Hi, I'm Charan. In this video, we are going to write a Perl program in order to find the greatest of three numbers. For which I am using a Perl IDE. So let us start with this program and I'm clicking on File, New. I'm selecting Perl file script. So it gives us the by default code. And I'll hold the control button on the keyboard and move the scroller of the mouse forward in order to zoom in the screen. So that the code looks bright, larger and, say, and easier. And any line starting with hash are nothing but the comment lines. And these are the respective directives informing about what are the warning messages needs to be popped out when any kind of errors encounter during writing the programs. And this is a by default statement which is the, here the print is a function and an operator which is taking a string information as an input and is going to print the value. Fine, we do not need this part now. And I am writing a comment line to make it understand that this program, my program name is to find greatest of three numbers. We shall save this program. Click on file, save, and the name of my program is greatest dot plx. Either we can use dot plx or else dot pl. Clicking on save. Right. In order to find the greatest of three numbers, we need three variables to store three numbers. So for which I'm I'm using three scalar variables. That is, uh, scalars are the variable contents that you can store only one single entity. So the scalar values are indicated with a dollar followed with a name. So dollar x is my first variable. Dollar y is my second scalar variable, and dollar z is my third variable. These variables now I have declared, but they are going to be taken as global variables. Okay, in our programs, whenever we use a strict statement, it specifically follows whether these variables belong to the respective program or not. That is, they should be local. If they are global, it, it's going to pop up certain error message. We need to include a particular package for these particular variables. So I want to make them local. I can call them as lexical variables by embedding m by my. So my dollar x, uh, dollar y, dollar z. However, as we are declaring multiple variables simultaneously as local, we have to put them in parentheses. Or else we can proceed with writing like my uh, my dollar x, and uh, semi every statement should end with semicolon, and my dollar y. In this manner, we can write individual statements too. So, but in order to make things much simpler, I wrote the things as in a single thing, in a single part, as a list. We can call them as a list. Anything written in a parenthesis open and a parenthesis close, separated with commas, will be treated as a list of values. So, the variables were declared fine. Now, we need to take uh, the inputs. Before which, I want to print on the screen as like this. Print program to find the greatest of three numbers and I'm entering slash n which is an escape sequence character which is going to make the cursor to move to the next line ending with a semicolon every statement and here for print after writing print everything should be in small letters uh, we, we can add the parenthesis or parenthesis open and we can use parenthesis close or else we can uh, leave it as it is without parenthesis by default parenthesis will be uh, automatically taken implicitly it will be taken by the Perl uh, will be considered by the Perl right next this statement will be printed first next uh, I need to ask the machine needs to ask me to enter x value enter y value and z value so it should be something dynamic for which first I am printing the statement to ask x value so enter an integer into x so it has to ask in this manner uh, and then I, I have to store using the statement known as stdin. stdin is a standard input which is our basic keyboard. From keyboard the input is going to be taken by this particular statement and we need to store it into $x which is our scalar variable. So $x is going to store. But one thing we need to remember that stdn is not only going to take the value that we have given, but even after entering the value, we are going to hit the enter key. So here when the new line character will be stored in this 
uh, in the dollar x variable and next the same thing i'm going to continue even with the other particular contents so i'm i am just pasting them so enter an integer into y so I, and here it is going to be dollar y and next enter an integer into z and this is going to be z so we are done with this uh, particular thing let us check whether our program is working fine or not i am saving the file saving the file alt f s right now in order to run the program i am pressing f5 uh, key on the on my keyboard f5 so it shows the first statement program to find the greatest of three numbers right now it is has printed enter an integer into x it is asking me so i am entering 4 next it asks me for an integer y so it's 5 and it's asking me for z and it's 6 and press any key to continue that the program has been stopped as i said dollar x dollar y and dollar z are not only going to contain those 3 4 5 x is going to contain 3 slash and the actual value that is stored in to dollar x is it's going to be the value 3 with slash and this is the value that has been stored in uh, dollar x the same way it continues even with dollar y and dollar dollar z so we need to remove this slash n uh, from the content only three needs to be stored into the respective scalar variables so for which we have a keyword known as chomp so chomp is useful for modifying the content of a variable by removing the new line character from the data so I'm, i need to chomp all the three variables so i am making them as a list to the chomp function and i'm passing it as dollar x dollar y dollar z so this is how i have done okay i'm saving the program and i'm pressing f5 and it's it's working fine okay so now we need to test we need to test our program so for which i need to use certain control statement or decision making statement known as if if else or else if ladder so if i have to compare first dollar x uh, is do is dollar x greater than dollar y and two ampersands needs to be used and dollar x should be greater than dollar z then i can say that x is greater than among the three contents so parenthesis so my flower brace is open flower brace is close so i can print the final statement that dollar x that is the value will be printed there dollar x is greater than dollar y and dollar z and i'm putting print slash n at the end and of the semicolon so it's going to print in this manner let us test it i'm pressing f5 enter integer x i entered 5 3 and something like 1 5 is greater than 3 and 1 yes that is true it's it worked if i test the same program with some other input like uh, uh, 3 it's 4 and it's 1 none not, that nothing worked that is the reason is here the condition is becoming false so if works only if this respective condition passed within the parenthesis is true only then the block the content in the block that is within the braces will be executed so in order to if this condition is false we have to go for checking that that is if x is not greater than y and z we have to check whether y or z is greater for which i am using uh, else if okay else if it, and parenthesis open and parenthesis close i am writing my second condition is dollar y is greater than dollar z if so if so we can print the statement stating that the same banner that dollar y is greater than that of dollar x and dollar z so in case if these three are false two are false then i have the else condition stating that these two particular that is dollar z is greater than dollar x and dollar y
So is z is greater than that of x and y. So this is the end of our program. Let us test our program whether it is working fine or not. I'm pressing F5 once again. I'm entering 5, 4, 3. So it says 5 is greater than 4 and 3. It worked fine. Let us test with the other one. 3, 5 and 4. Again, 5 is greater than 3 and 4. Right. And finally, 3, 4 and 5. That is, 5 is greater than 3 and 4. So here 5 means Z. In the previous value, 5 means Y. And the, in the first value, 5 means X. So hope we are able to find the greatest of three numbers. Thank you for watching. Hope you understood the program. Thank you.